In this special session, we are going to be hearing from someone who is a registered nurse. Actually, she and her husband both are registered nurses. Um, she focuses on uh, the pregnancy journey as well as childbirth, and he has got some special education and expertise and tons of experience in the neonatal realm, and they are parents of 11 children themselves. And so I know that this is going to be a very special session to learn how a large family home is starting a business as well as the things that they're already doing in their careers and how they're raising their children in the midst of it. And it's just going to be such a blessing for us to hear from them. So let help me welcome in. Emmy Manor. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having me, Katie. I know that you've got a lot going on. I know I, I heard some of the gasps as I said, 11 children, big family. You've done so much already. You've written a book. Um, you're starting this online business. Um, you and I have been working together for the last couple of years um, and getting that off the ground. And it's just such a blessing to see all that you're doing. Give us a little of the backstory about how did God lead two full time nurses? into online business? It's kind of a crazy story because first off, uh, just being both of us being nurses, which is un unusual. Um, and then we ended up going overseas to do mission work uh, for a short time with our nursing school. That led us to a heart for missions, which led us to um, seminary, which then led us to this point. So there's a lot in there, but ultimately it boils down to God just showing us the next step and the next step and the next step. And this isn't where we thought we would be. Um, but we are at that point where we just love, we love families. We love seeing families for working for God together and working alongside God together and parents really discipling their children. And the way the world is today, we need that so desperately. Christian parents need to be investing in their children, the word of God, seminary, uh, and all of that led us to this point. And of course, my husband is still working in the hospital full time. So it makes things very fun and interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so he's working full time. You're home with the kids full time. You're also homeschooling and mm -hmm. you're beginning to build this program. We want to hear all about the program. Like what's it look like? What's it entail? What are you guys building? So right now we have started out with our Bible and breakfast that is what we do every day with our family. That is um, just how we operate and how it works well for us. You can really do it at any meal. It works really well. So it's when you're gathered around the table together as a family, pull out the word of God, read a few verses and talk about it. And so it starts with that. And then we have some specific Bible studies that we have written. So we, you have general questions. You can ask any passage of the Bible and you can answer all of them, which is so great. So if you have five minutes, answer one or two. If you have an hour, answer them all, or depending on what it looks like for your family. And then we have Bible studies based on specific passages of scripture. So right now we're working on the Psalms. The Psalms are amazing and they are so full of God and his love and teaching and instruction. And so we thought that was an amazing place to start. So it also teaches prayer alongside of scripture reading and study. And so those will be approximately 30 days, give or take a little bit, depending on the section of scripture. But for the Psalms, we're covering about 30 at once. So then we have one specifically for Psalm 119, which is a lot of fun. I love Psalm 119. And then we also have a membership. In that membership, you can get the Bible studies each month. So each month, there is a Bible study that you can print off. And there are also resources. And we have a community surrounding that on Facebook currently. What we are leading to are going to be some uh, group coaching type things. My husband is working on something for men to really encourage them in leadership as that is very, as I said, very needed um, right now. We also would like to do couples as well and family coaching. Our ultimate dream is to have what we would call a family seminary, where we are going deep into God's word, deep into theology, because we love theology. If, the, if that, that is the biggest thing we walked away from our seminary experience, is just a love for who God is, studying who he is, getting to know him deeper and studying his word. So right now that is what we are envisioning. And we are in the early steps of that with the, the Bible studies and the membership. And then of course the free uh, Bible and breakfast study questions that you can get. Love it. So let's back up. And just so that 
everyone's catching this because there's there's a pattern to follow. When we talk about programs and what people are offering, a lot of folks are offering the free level. There's something that you can get for free that gets you on their email list and allows you to build trust with them to be able to then invite them to more. And in your case, the more is the Bible studies for purchase or the memberships, which I'm imagining is going to be a little bit less than buying each individual Bible study on its own. You join the membership for a monthly rate. You get a new one every month. That's the idea yes. here. Yes. And then yeah. you get the community with it as well. Right. Which that's an amazing point here, guys. When For all of you watching, when you're trying to put together something that's an amazing deal, you want to think, how do I give maximum value with something that feels like a discount or like a special thing, right? And I don't like discounts. I don't like giving them. I don't like talking about them. I always want to talk about adding value in, right? And so in this case, when it's like, well, you can buy a Bible study for this or for a little bit less, you can get the Bible study every month plus the added value of the community. And that makes it an amazing deal when you're putting things together. So if you're thinking about the membership idea and being able to provide some sort of a service or a product on a monthly basis like that, that's an amazing way to go and to be able to show the value is by also selling those things individually. We could talk about any different kind of niche or any different kind of product. <laughs> Yours is very much in the faith-based arena. And there's so many people out there doing Bible studies, um, printing Bible studies, publishing Bible studies. What would you say makes yours unique? We intentionally make ours to do in about 10 minutes over breakfast, because that's about how much time we have with 11 children going from 13 down to six months. The older ones want to dive more. And so we'll dive more with them later in the day. Whereas the little ones, they can only take about this much and then they're ready to get up and go. Our Bible breakfast series is designed for that in mind, like to have that in mind. If you want to go deeper, you absolutely can go deeper. You don't have to stop with the questions we've given you. But we have looked at that passage and we've said, okay, what is the most, like what's the, the thing that stands out to us the most in that passage or in that chapter? And we pull out, you know, three to five questions to really go into that and then have you pray that pass, somehow pray that passage. That is our focus because um, we want you praying God's word as well as reading God's word. And I think too, part of staying relevant is to be sure that what you have is, is needed, right? You're one of those things that you have to have on a daily basis in order to maintain and continue with what you're doing. And so if you want your program to be something people are going to use on a regular basis, you don't want your program to be one of the fluff things that people could do or could live without. And in this case, you know, especially for those of us who do claim the name of Christ, daily relationship with him, daily learning about him is not something that we stop doing when times get tough or when there's, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> when money yes. is tight, like we need to know our Lord. We need to be strengthened even more. We need to be showing our kids that consistency especially in these times. And so for those of you who have a faith-based product, like you may have Bible studies or you may have some sort of a, a coaching program around deepening your faith. This is not the time to think you can't sell this. This is the time exactly. to be out there. Like people need this now mm -hmm. more than ever. It's in our tough times that we need to go back to the word and be strengthened. You've got to be able to do that and showing your kids that consistency when times are hard is really good too. So there's some leveraging with the marketing piece that can be pulled into this, regardless of what your product is, you want to be able to show how they need to use this on a daily basis and that you can help to supply that need and, or the accountability for the consistency, which comes out in the community that you're providing. That's exactly right. We need God so deeply and we need him, we need him personally as well as with our children. And one of the things I do love about the way we set this up is you can sit down and use it for yourself and you can use it with your family. Love it. So you got the free, which by the way, any of you that are watching where Emmy is giving away that free Bible and breakfast template to you guys, you don't want to miss seeing what they've done and being able to use that resource in your life. But with the free level, then you have your paid Bible study level. Then you have your membership level. And then you're talking about doing some coaching. Tell us a little bit more about those programs and what that looks like. They are um, a work in progress, but we are really focusing on um, having parents work on their individual discipleship, their marriage discipleship, and then their family discipleship. Because to be able to disciple your children, you have to be a disciple of Jesus first. 
And so those programs are designed to help you really get into the word of God yourself to, to learn to pray, to learn to hear God, because it's really hard in the noisy world sometimes to hear God. And we want to be able to do that. So working on that. Um, and then and if you're married, <laughs> that relationship is, is right after God. And so if that relationship is not strong, it is going to be very challenging to disciple your children. Now, if you are a single parent, um, you can absolutely join our programs. We are more than happy to walk alongside people if, the, if there is a struggle as well. But we really, you know, we really want to encourage that marriage relationship. We really see just how deeply the marriage relationship is in the heart of Christ and it displays Christ in the church. And then it goes into the children, because if you've got, if you're walking strongly and then your marriage is walking strongly, it spills over into the children naturally. And it becomes natural because if you are consistently going to the Lord, confessing your sin, walking in faith, and then in your marriage, you're confessing your sin, walking in faith, doing life together. And then your children are going to see that they're going to mirror that. And we can never guarantee the outcome. That's all at least in God's hands. But we have seen time and time again, if you look at the, the saints from the past, the ones that are so strong are the ones that have had that faithful heritage and legacy of faith. And so that is what we want to build into these programs. Beautiful. And I don't think we ever change without noticing change in those around us. Like when, when God changes us, it does spill over into the lives of other people. And uh, we get to see that, ex- experience it together. And so uh, for those of you that are, are watching, I, I really want you to be encouraged here. We're talking about a large family, very little time. And yet the Lord is allowing them to grow this business that is encouraging other families to disciple and to grow their kids into who God is, is creating them to be. And they're monetizing it, right? So if you think, oh, I can't charge for ministry, like God wants to provide for you through the ministry that you can have. And I want you to be challenged today to think about this from a different perspective. Part of the way some of you are going to get through this recession is by creating a product that you didn't think you could sell before. Mm -hmm. And I just want you to be encouraged that God can do big things. And he has given you the unique family situation that you have, the unique experience that you have, the education that you have. All of this because he has a reason to use it. He wants to use you to encourage and empower and and inspire other people in the world, just like he's using Jim and Emmy and their family in what they're doing with this whole family discipleship thing. And I just love that. And very simple, very simple to put together a program, right? You have a free Mm -hmm. level that gets them in and feeds them, lets them want more. And then you offer them more at a low ticket price. And then you offer them more at an ongoing price. And then you offer them more at a higher, higher price, right? Mm -hmm. This is the model that can be repeated regardless of the niche of what you're teaching, regardless of the product or service that you have. And, um, I, I wanted you to see that from this family ministry perspective, especially with having Emmy come in and share this with us today. So thank you so much for sharing about your business, Emmy. You're very welcome. And thank you. Anything else that you want to leave folks with? Just be encouraged. Remember that no matter what's happening in the world, God is still in control and he, he owns the cattle on a thousand hills and there's no reason to worry. So step forward in faith and keep going. Love it. Love it. Thank you.